Good evening and hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Wiccan's Reads. And tonight I'm joined by three very special guests. Uh, child number one. Hi. Child number two. Hello. And child number three. Hello. My ch- my children, by the way. I haven't just, you know, stolen them. Uh, right, so are you ready, guys? Yeah. Yes. Here we go. Jack and the Flum Flum Tree by Julia Donaldson. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Let's sure. get stuck in. Can you hold the book for me there, mate? Just up a bit. There we are. Right, here we go. <gasps> oh, can anyone see anything on this page from another book that we Oh, have? I can see this. What is it? It's the... What is it? Is it cool? Oh, it's the duckbill dinosaur, dinosaur from... The Tyrannosaurus Trip. Tyrannosaurus Trip. Okay, are you ready? Okay, have you come under here? There you go. Right, hold that book up. <gasps> Jack had a granny and his granny had spots. Great big purple ones, lots and lots. The doctor came and he shook his head. Your granny has the measles, the doctor said. And the only cure in the world, said he, is the fruit that grows on the flum flum tree. And the only place that the flum flum grows is the faraway isle of... Blow your nose. So, Jack built a boat and Jack found a crew. Red-cheeked Rose and stubble-cheeked Stew. And he said to Stew and he said to Rose, we're off to the Isle of... Blow your nose! Granny came down to the dock with Jack and she gave him a bulgy patchwork sack. And in that sack were a pair of wooden spoons, a porridge bowl, tent pegs and red and blue balloons. Granny's old skipping rope, a pack of chewing gum, three spotty hunkies and a tom-tom drum. And Jack said, Granny, what is the use of those? Aha, said Granny, and she tapped her nose. Then off sailed Jack with Stew and Rose to the faraway Isle of... Blow your nose! Sharks, cried Rose. Lots, cried Stew. They'll gobble us, they'll guzzle us, whatever will we do? Don't get your knickers in a twist, said Jack. Let's have a look in the back. I said, I said, don't get your knickers in a twist, said Jack. Let's have a look in the back. I said, I said, don't get your knickers in a twist, said Jack. Let's have a look in the patchwork sack. Red balloons, blue balloons, they should do the trick. Puff, puff, blow them up, let them go quick. So the sharks went nip and the sharks went nash. Chasing those balloons with the bang pop splash. A leak, cried Rose. It's work, cried Stu. The boat is full of water. Whatever shall we do? Don't get your knickers in the twist, said Jack. Let's have a look in the pack. I said, I said, don't get your knickers in a twist, said Jack. Let's have a look in the pack. I said, I said, don't get your knickers in a twist, said Jack. Let's have a look in the patchwork sack. Look, there's a paper. Granny's pack of chewing gum. That should do the trick. Chew it up, stretch it out, stick it in quick. So they chew and they stretched and they cl- plugged that hole and bailed out the water in Granny's porridge bowl. Then off sailed Jack with stew and roast for the faraway Isle of... Blow your nose! Can anyone see the paper boat there? There it is! Woohoo! Okay, let's get going. Whoops, cried Rose. Oh, my focus. Wait for it. There we go. Whoops, cried Rose. Help, cried Stu. I can't swim for toffee. Whatever will you do? Don't get your knickers in a twist, said Jack. Let's have a look in the pack. I said, I said, don't get your knickers in a twist, said Jack. Let's have a look in the pack. I said, I said, don't get your knickers in a twist, said Jack. Let's have a look in the patchwork sack. Granny's old skipping rope, that should do the trick. Hold tight, throw it out, grab the handle quick. So they heaved and they hauled and they pulled Stew in. Good old Granny, she saved my skin. Then off sailed Jack with Stew and Rose till they came to the Isle of... Blow your nose. But I could see an eye there. That's a nostril. It's It's blowing your nose because it's a nose. Ooh, what happens? Here we go. And there on a hill for all to see stood the bright green feathery... Farm 
Thumbs up tree. It's tall, cried Rose. It's smooth, cried Stu. We've not got any branches. Whatever shall we do? Don't get your knickers in a twist, said Jack. Let's have a look in the pack. I said, I said, don't get your knickers in a twist, said Jack. Let's have a look in the patch. I said, I said, don't get your knickers in a twist, said Jack. Let's have a look in the patch. Granny's bag of temp pegs, they should do the trick. Bang, bang, knock them in, climb the tree quick. Then up went Rose, as nimble as could be, and she brought down the fruit from the flum flum tree. Then Jack and Stu and Rose had a doze on the soft sandy beach of... Oh, child number four has just come in. Let's see how long this lasts. A thief, cried Rose. A monkey, yelled Stu. He's got our precious flum flum. Whatever shall we do? Don't get your knickers in a twist, said Jack. Let's have a look in the pack. I said, I said, don't get your knickers in a twist, said Jack. Let's have a look in the pack. I said, I said, don't get your knickers in a twist, said Jack. Let's have a look in the patch for sack. Granny Spoons and Tom Tom, they should do the trick. Pick them up, thump, thump, sing a song quick. The monkey crept closer, he listened to the tunes. He put down the flum flum and grabbed the wooden spoons. Then back sailed Jack with Stu and Rose all the way home from... Granny ate the flum flum, the moozles disappeared. She's cured, said the doctor, and everybody cheered. Woo! And Jack said, thank you for the pair of wooden spoons, the porridge bowl, the skipping rope, the red and blue balloons. Thank you for the temp pegs of the pack of chewing gum. Thank you, and thank you, Granny, for the tom-tom drum. But the three spotty hankies, what was the use of those? The hunkies, silly, were to blow, blow your, your nose. nose. Thanks for watching, everybody. Let's say goodbye. Bye. <laughs>